Hi everybody, it's Lynn. Welcome. Glad you're here. Today we're going to do the bracelet and earrings to match our pretty white crystal necklace here, our swag necklace. So we're going to use the same beads that we used in this. So let me clean this off our board and we'll get started. We'll start with our bracelet. I've already cut myself a piece of beading wire and just to help us save a little time, I went ahead and put together one side of the bracelet just so we had that much done already. Oh, my magnet's catching everything. So let's proceed. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is string our beads just like they are here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. How you guys doing? Everybody good? Um, I got a confession for you guys. <laughs> I had to take this necklace apart and put it back together. I messed up something. I got stuff out of order or something. I don't know what I did, but anyway, I had to restring it real quick. No big deal. It's not the first time. Oh, these little filigree beads are so difficult. Uh, we have this guy. Another one of these guys. A crystal. Filigree. I think the length on this is going to be good. Um, I have a hard time with that because my wrist used to be a good bit bigger before I lost some weight. So I'm used to making them larger and that doesn't work anymore. They're too big. I've got a whole drawer full of bracelets I'm going to have to take apart and resize. That's the nice thing about beaded jewelry though. You can do that and it doesn't hurt your beads at all. Okay. All right. Let's make sure it matches our other one perfectly. And it does. So we'll go ahead and crimp. All right. Got our wire guardians already out here. Here's my little handy dandy tool. So we'll start out, we'll grab a crimp tube and put him on. Put on a wire guardian. Bring your wire back through the crimp tube. Pull everything. Well, actually, you don't have to worry about this one because we can slide these beads. It's not like when we were working on that necklace and had a stationary middle. Close down the wire guardian a little bit. Okay. And crimp. Make sure you get... I tell you, The one thing I've learned about with these magic crimpers, if you don't have this thing in that hole just perfect, your crimp tube will be a mess. You have to get it in there just right or it just it makes an ugly ugly little ball if you don't okay but when you do it looks real pretty and it once you get used to it it's a lot easier than trying to get on those aggravating crimp covers and sometimes you just don't want to crimp to show, you know. Okay, there's that end. Looks good. Get this end done. And then all we have to do is just throw this little bracelet together. It's it's going to be cute, I think. I got a little something extra to put on it. I'm going to show you here in a second. Just something to make it a little more fun. Come here, crimp tube. Get in there. Okay. Let's get him crimped. 
close down our crimp or our guardian just a little bit. Now, I could have wired this right onto my component, but I'm doing it this way because I think I need the length um, to get the length just right. So, if you were wondering, <laughs> that's why I'm doing it like this. And this one is at the front, so we want him to look real pretty. There we go. Much better. Okay. Get it in the hole. Squeeze. Turn. Squeeze. Turn. Squeeze. Turn. Squeeze. And there was our little ball. Now, as you can see, I've already put the, the clasp on this end. So now what we need to do is attach this to our charm. Okay, so we're going to do that with jump rings, of course. So we'll grab him and stick him on. There's not actual holes, you know, like... Um, I mean, you can, there's a lot of holes, but there aren't any holes that are specifically for your jump rings or anything. So just, you know, when you have a, a situation like that, you can put it in any of the openings, you know, just depending on where you want it to hang. Kind of like it at the top like that, so it'll, do I want it there? Yeah. How about right there? That's good. Okay. Got him on there. Oh, this jump ring. Okay. Now, okay. Now, grab another jump ring. Put this one on the other side. Okay. Grab another jump ring. And let's attach our clasp. Okay, now, I took some of our beads, our, a butterfly and one of each of the crystals and the white beads and uh, did a wire wrap loop on them on head pins and I put them all on a jump ring and let me grab another jump ring, I'm one short. Probably the right size. Okay. I'm going to open the jump ring and grab the jump ring that has all three of these together. And then I'm going to come to the front of the bracelet here and on the jump ring that attaches the side of the bracelet to the component, I'm hooking this onto that jump ring. Just a little cluster of charms. Okay. There's our bracelet, y'all. Isn't it cute? Let me see if it fits. Yep. Oop, got it on backwards, but it fits great. Sweet. Okay, 
So here's that. And now, earrings. Okay, I have one made up. And here's what it looks like. Okay. Let's just lay him out right there. All right. Now, I have a little ball head pin. And what I'm doing is I'm putting on a bead cap. My big white bead. Another bead cap. And I'm going to wire wrap it or, you know, do a, a wrap loop. Excuse me, y'all. Having problems with my words. Okay. Come here. Snip off our excess. Tuck that tail in. Okay. Now take an eye pin. Okay. Open it up and put this on and close it. Okay. Now I'm going to put on our tube bead and I'm going to do a wrap loop. So I've got it like this. I'm going to bend it over the side, reposition my pliers, come up and over, reposition my pliers, go around to the back, and wrap. And snip. Tuck. Okay. Yeah. One more time. Open the eye pin. Slide these on. Close the eye pin. Put our white bead or our crystal bead on. Okay. And one more time, we're going to do a wrapped loop. Bend it to the side, reposition your pliers, come up and over, reposition your pliers, take it to the back, and wrap. Okay, uh, cut your excess. <gasps> oh no, that's right. Oh, I thought I messed up. <laughs> Scared myself. Okay, tuck that tail. Oop, well, sure bent that loop. Okay, now I got to grab another jump ring. Oops. I want a teeny tiny jump ring. Somebody suggested that I need two pairs of needle nose pliers, and I do. And I actually have a pair I forgot about. So I pulled them out. Let's see if I like them as well. I just love those bent chain nose. I'm so used to them. Now I'm, I'm putting this jump ring on my ear wire. And I'm going to put it on one end of this component. Close it back up. Uh, 
Oh no, that doesn't work. That's not what I did. I am so scatterbrained. What is wrong with me today? I haven't been sleeping well. I think that might be the problem. Okay, I wanted to add our beads, not the ear wire. There we go. Now, all I have to do is open the ear wire and put that on. And our earrings are done. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. See what I mean? I'm just backwards with everything today. Here we go, finally. Finally. All right, guys. Let me lay this out for you. Here's our earrings. cute little bracelet and our gorgeous necklace that I just adore what I like so much about this set you can wear it together or you can because it's completely neutral like this you can wear one piece or all the pieces or you know whatever you want to do because there is nothing that this doesn't match <laughs> Or doesn't go with might not match it but it goes with it all right you guys well there is our super super versatile jewelry set I hope you guys got something out of the video and I hope you enjoyed it so have a great rest of your day I'll see you on the next video bye bye